In order to save an image from your VTech video painter, you would normally have to hook this up to something like a VCR and then record your image to a tape. But it's not the 90s anymore, so let's take a look at how we can do this in 2021. So you will need a video painter. You will need a cable. It doesn't have to have all of these colors on it, it just needs yellow because the VTech video painter has a built-in speaker, so it doesn't need to output audio, it only needs to output video. And you can find these cables just about anywhere, but you can see the cable is marked video. The next thing that you'll need is something that can capture HDMI video and output it to your computer. This is the Elgato CamLink, and all it is is just this little thing here that plugs in through USB 3.0. It has a HDMI port on the other end, and this will allow you to capture any HDMI video and output it to your computer where you can then record it or do a screen capture. Along with that, you'll need this thing called the Retro Tink. I have the older version, there's newer ones there, but all you really need is to be able to capture video and output it to HDMI. So we have our HDMI output here. I've converted it from the regular HDMI cable to a smaller HDMI. And then we have the power cord, which just plugs into USB. Now, if you just wanted to play the video painter on your TV, then if your TV has a video input like mine does, all you really need to do is just run that video cable from the video painter to your TV. And then if you didn't want to deal with buying all this equipment, you could just take a picture of your TV screen using the camera on your phone or just a regular camera. So I have this box here just to illustrate that, but this isn't going to work for capturing the video. Let's go ahead and connect everything together. I'll plug the yellow cable into the back of the video painter. The video painter also requires AC power, so I'll plug that in. Now I'll plug the other video cable into the retro tank. This is converting the video signal from the video painter into HDMI. Now in order to get that signal to go to my TV, I'll plug the HDMI cable into the cam link, and then I'll plug that into the USB 3.0 port on the back of my computer. Now I'm using XSplit Broadcaster, but you could also use OBS Studio, which is free, or even just the game capture software that comes with the Elgato. And what I've done is I've added the Elgato as a video source, and that video source is appearing in my live streaming software. Now I can just record from the live streaming software or just do a screen capture, but we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Now the picture isn't coming in correctly, so what I'll need to do is I'll need to go to the Retro Tink, and there's a little button on the inside that I'll just need to press that toggles through the different modes. I've got it on the right color mode here. And now as you can see, I'm able to move my cursor around. It's not a perfect translation, but it's still a lot crisper than what you'd get on a CRT television, or if you just plugged the video cable directly into your TV. And best of all, you can capture this. So I'll select black for my color. I'll just draw a little face here. This thing is not easy to draw with. Now, if I wanted to capture that, I could just click on screenshot. And there, I've saved a screenshot. And there's my screenshot that I could print from. Now, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of rainbow colors going on in those black lines. Again, this is not a perfect translation. You might be able to find something that converts the video signal and processes it and makes it a lot cleaner, but this is pretty good. Now, just as well, I could record what I'm doing. So if I wanted to make like a recording of my entire drawing or record my animations and stuff like that, I could do that too. But I'm not gonna do any kind of detailed drawing here. This is really just a tutorial for how to get this set up you can feel free to do something amazing and capture it or print it out. I'll clear that out. Let's go ahead and color in a drawing. As you can see, these show up pretty nicely. Let's put this guy here. Let's get our paint bucket and let's fill in his pants. Again, if you wanted to capture this, you could just click this capture button or you could even just do a screen snip from within Windows. For example, I could just crop off this right here and just capture that little bit of the image. It's not gonna be super high resolution, so just keep that in mind. You'd get a higher resolution if you take a screenshot, and the size of that screenshot is gonna be based upon your capture resolution. But even so, the resolution on a device like this is already really, really low, so all you're really doing by making it bigger is just inflating the pixels, which is probably what's causing a lot of that rainbow color in the strokes. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.